Some time ago, Apollo Narib shared the tragic tale of how he lost his job basically for trying to improve working conditions for himself and other employees. My name is Apollo, Apollo Narib. Uh, I have worked for a good job in 2001. I have been a old boss in 2017 when I was fired. Ik heb 18 jaar is ik daar bij. Bij wat zoals nu wat ik nu praat, is ik, want ik is, ik is nog niet af. Nie. Ik is nu 20 jaar wat ik nu voor Wuto gewerkt heb. De man wat van Botswana afgekomen met wat die uh, plek weer komt, oorvat. Na die, na die oudbas wat ons gehad het. De man het moeilijkheid gebrengd. Dus die man het voor ons klaar bij plan. Zo is het daar, het is voor ons klaar per plan, dat we niet die oude mensen willen hebben hier in Kambanini. Want die oude mensen, hij pas al nog bij meer petaal en als hij komt, als ons nu tot bij onze pensioen, bij 60, komt ze alleen meer geld petaal. Nou, dus die ding wat hij per plan heeft om voor ons te laten feieren, zo komen ze voor ons, zo onnodig gefeierd. En? Het heeft voor ons net zomaar, zoals die bij collega nog gepraat heeft. Onze toestemming gevraagd. Ons is niet vanzelf gegaan. Nie. Ons is toch niet mal nie om zelf 58 mensen. Ons staan op ons gaan. Net zonder om die campagne de la diet niet. Dat was onze supervisor. Toen stiel ons die supervisor naar hele toe, naar die HR. Man gaan en gaan vragen voor ons toestemming of ons moet gaan. Want die leuk heeft gezegd, ons kan gaan en gaan lister naar onze zak. Toen stiel ons onze supervisor, de supervisor heeft gegaan, hij heeft terechtgekomen en gezegd, jullie moeten allemaal jullie zijn namen opschrijven. Wat wil gaan in de schrijf ons onze namen op. Toen zei, oké, zo raak jullie kan gaan. Toen gaan ons. Die terechtkomt, wat ons terechtkomt, ons binnen twee uur wat ons daar heeft gegaan, het, wat ons terechtkomt, die mensen het klaar, mensen aangesteld. Wat ik niet verstaan, nie, want dit was al klaar op je plan. Je kan niet binnen twee uur. Wat ons terecht komt, je hebt klaar je warehouse vol mensen ingestort. En voor ons, dan jaag je voor ons weg, gaan terecht en kom aan de dag. En die dag wat we voor ons weggejaagd hebben, die dag het we van onze, onze peeslip, van onze geld, het we afgetrek. Het we voor ons klaar gepanisch. Dan moeten we toch vijer. Hoe komen we waarom? Je kan ons niet aan mensen twee keer panischen. Met één keer is genoeg. Zo is het bij haar hier. Ons is onbevriet. En ons was bij Leipa toen we voor ons gefeierd hebben en alles. Toen gaan ons weer terug bij Leipa. Ons is gefeierd. Hoor dit en dit en dit en dit. Toen gaan ons toe is de vrouw die wat ons zei is Marta. Het is zak gehad bij Leipa. Hij werkt voor Leipa. Hij was in charge van onze zak. Zeg je voor ons, oké, okay, je roept voor ons, je moet die hoeveelste komen en wat en wat, toe komen ons, ik weet nog niet die dat en precies die hoeveelste, toe gaan ons allemaal daar. Toe roep je voor ons, plus die procureurs van die kampagne. Die uh, procureurs, Tom V, Johan, Tom ook allemaal was daar en de Pierre was ook daar, wat nu voor die kampagne staan. Zo, so, je leest er zo. Ik wil nou niet, hè, die mensen, let ons, die tijd het ons nog net zes maanden geleden. Toen zei je vrouw van die leeuw van nee, ik wil nou hè, ons kijk ook aan die campagne kant. Die mensen hebben nog zes maanden geleden zonder werk. Die mensen hebben kennis, hebben het alles. Wat jullie moeten betalen. Kom, laat die campagne, voor de vier maanden betalen, die twee maanden. Kan je kan ons los voor die campagne. Zo, so, als jullie nou die vier maanden betalen, dan vat jullie die die mensen terecht in die werk. Als ze niet die mensen in die terecht wat in die werk niet, moet hulle, hulle se pakjes uit betaal die jaren wat hulle gewerk het, plus hier vier maanden. So, toe gaan hier twee, hier twee, laat hulle nou gaan en met die groot baas gaan praat. Toe gaan praat hulle met die, met die baas oor dit, dan het ons nou vier maanden moet gepetaal word, en onze pakjes, als hulle niet voor ons in die werk wil, hy nie, en dit. Die terechtvoering van die brief, hy staan daar, hy staan in die file. Ze hebben besluit hele dat ze met die groot baas niet. Ons zoek die mensen niet. Ons betaal hele 120 cent. Dan kan hele onder mekaar deel. Waar het jezelf gedenk gezien? 
man yeti so se ki so set u fulet me trane ve luo marom da de kamane de ko ele benekant le 18 jare wat ek gewerk het 20 jare wat ek gewerk het wat ek voel me kenner u helele da ba ya on ki ba ya on de friete da i man se kenner ne hele lach tot hier op die pende van hele se ore me ken on se kenner Elle se le pe eso ke burso sa bur mishin le it us us safa us mon so zet no prat mi krach in water is tu kan di tipe koste ni ik lien bi ander mense lien het water om mi kinders te laat bad school do gaan Mr Nawab blames government policies for the manner in which this company was able to get away with paying the disgruntled employees a pittance di ele problem le Die hele probleem le ook bij government. Want zoals je ziet, iemand komt van Botswana. Hij komt van Botswana. Eerst wat hij nou die kampagne heeft binnen vier maanden. Kom vijf jaar, acht en vijftig mensen. Vier maanden wat hij ooit op die stoel komt gezet het. Wat die mensen wat tot die daar is mensen wat dertig jaar gewerkt het. Wat lang met die wat die kampagne opgebouwd het. Hij komt kreeg die campagne en onze die campagne opgebouwd onze 30 25 jaar 26 jaar gewerkt. Je komt vijf ons zonder om iets te betalen. Hm? Die vijf ons zomaar op de die achtste december. Van die 15e december ons kreeg onze bonus. En let ons lekker pe plan. Toen zien jullie nou vijf ons hier die mensen die achtste laat jullie niet die 15e hele ze bonus kan krijgen. Vijf jullie voor ons die vijf die achtste. Sonder bonus. Vatele onse verlof gel wie hoe kom moet je iemand se verlof gel word nie ander geraak nie. Dis my eie geld. Die petal mi dai 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 ag dai het mi gepetal van die december maand. Dai ag dai plus die verlof. Hierdie ag dai is nie genoeg vir my polisse en vir my meties en vir alles wat jy moet aftrek nie om hele vatele van my verlof se geld af. Betaal hulle my meties en betaal hulle my polisse, die geld wat hulle nie mag aanraak nie, het hulle aangeraak en die bonus het hulle nie vir ons gegee nie. Dis baie hartseerlik. En ons, ons soek ons se geld. Die jare wat ons gewerk het, wat ons die kampagne opgebouw het, laat die kampagne so hoog kom kry. Ons soek uit, nie dit ons se geld betaal. Dis wat ons soek en ons soek volgens die wet van Namibia wat sê, derweel die saak nog nie klaar is nie, moet jy gepetal word. Daai 36 maande wat ons geleed, moet hulle vir ons betal, want ons het baie verloor in die 36 maande wat ons geleed het, ons baie verloor. Ons het kreeg toe, daar is mense wat gehier het, vandag nie, daar is mense wat nou eet, wendoek eet is, hulle is terug van boeland toe. Hulle kan nie bekostig om hulle sy hier te betal nie. Daar is wat by die reservat is, by jou chinen en by jou waar, Hierdie ons is terug, die gaan sit. Maar ons sikkel, ons staan hierin, ben doek ons sikkel. Ons sikkel ons vrek. Enige tijd sal die municipality nou my huis terugvat. En ek het by julle lening gevat om die huis te koop. Maar hy het my lang gewacht. Hy het my 36 mande gewacht, 3 jaar. Maar my water is toe. Hoe sal ek voel? Daar is mense, hy lees ek al wat hier die bank teruggevat het. Bank is bank. Hy vat sy goede terug. Ons in Meepels by Lewis by Fijn met die streg. Ons sit op die blikke. Hy lees sê, daar so hy lees voel mooi, hy lees smel, hy lees sy kennis is mooi. Ons sy kennis die school begin, ons moet van hier af tot school goede koop. Ons moet school vir ons, ons kyk nou so my vader, van toe. Want toe begin ek nou, as dit so staan. My boodskap wil ek gee vir laat die minister of leba. Wat die ding wat die leba vir ons gedoen het, vir drie mande, sonder ons jare, sonder wat, wat ons nie skeldig is nie. As dit, as ons skeldig gewees het, so ons gevoel het nie, ons is skeldig. Ons is onskeldig. Dat die minister of leba inkom, Dat die man die denk kyk, wat gaan vir wat hier so? Ons is sy mense. Dat die president ook in die rit, ons wil baie graag hee, dat die president in die rit denk wat hy, as hy hoor die denk, dat hy ingaan. Want ons is sy mense, 
wat nu rond in die straat le, en hoeveel van ons kenners, ons, ons, ons manje, daar is manje wat eet, die 58 mense, let 6, 7, 8 kenners, as jy lekker lekker leed, hoeveel kenners is dit? Mal 58, of sê maar 5 mal 58, hoeveel kenners, wat vandag in die huis door mys al gaan eet, wat vandag in die skoele verloor, oor die, be, oor die persoon van Botswana. En dis net die wit mense wat hierdie goedie aandoen. En as dit nie klaar word, dat so, as die minister of leba en die president nie, hierdie goedie aan die einde breng nie. Jy weet, as die vlees vrot is, is hy vrot, hy sal niks maak nie. As die niet rot is rotten, is rotten, is rotten. You can even put it again in the fridge. Hy sal nie, hy kan drie maand in die vrieskas nog staan en vries. As jy om eet halle, is hy onvries, hy is nog net rot en jy sal niks maak, hy is gefrit. Ek wil hylle moet gewoon in hierdie ding inspring, en oplossing kan kreeg. Want as dit so aangaan, sal die hylle na Mimbia net so aangaan. Hylle sal mekaar aansteek en sê man, jy kan die mense net so, maak hylle so, sê het ons die mense so gemaak, so gaan, sal dit aangaan, die hylle kampanie sal dit so aangaan. Want die hylle kampanie is omtrend die wet mense, hylle waar nie, hylle het geel. For as little as 20 Namibian dollars a month, you can get funeral cover from Sunlamp with claims that get paid out within seven hours. To get a quote or for more information, simply SMS your name, town, and contact number to 555 for a callback. No obligations, T's and C's, and standard SMS rates apply. Super soft winter wonders. Get the coziest winter fitted sheets, just $139.99, in a range of prints and colors. And our floral duvet cover sets, also only $139.99, with plush flannel fleece throws for $64.99. Buy any two and save 30. Why pay more? This winter's looking wonderful. Life's better with Pip. Augustinius Ngombe is a teacher by profession and he loves his job. He shared his views on the current state of education in the country. I, I'm, I'm currently teaching at Havana Project Secondary and um, I've been teaching almost for eight years now. I started in the bush in the village and I was fished out from Perongo by Windhoek International School in 2014. I just taught eight months by then. So then Vinduk um, International School wanted me, then I had to move from Ochiperongo to come to Vinduk International School. But because of the demand of, of growth, personal growth, I had to resign and come uh, register for my master's degree. And then at the same year teaching at Havana Project Secondary School, 2016. I, I think we need to leverage having to be a teacher making impact and a teacher always looking for luxury. So I decided to go to where I was, I thought I was most needed and that is in the informal settlement because they need hope, they need to be inspired and they needed teachers who can do that. I felt I could do a little. I, I think, um, Education status has never changed. It still serves the purpose of having to prepare the future technocrats, uh, the future uh, industry leaders, uh, the future politicians, and, and we can talk about different areas. However, there is something that have changed which we did not deal with, that is modernization and the teaching to serve its purpose on its own. Now, modernization have come with the pressure of needs like accommodation, food, and um, some other needs which are basic. So those are things which could motivate uh, those who are part to participate into education, uh, particularly teachers. And the change in the technology of modernization have demanded that certain infrastructure need to be put in place in order for it to make sense to the era that it is. Um, 
the changes have taken part, place faster than the government could adjust. So that made it to, to look like um, teaching and teaching and learning itself have become boring because on the other side of the world people are exposed to certain technology, certain uh, incentive and then some of the people like to, to be specific in Namibia are not able to match with the technological change and modernization demand. So this makes it to be a mismatch of education than just having a curriculum that can prepare someone for a traditional job. Um, I think we need partnership. Uh, it's not, it shouldn't be seen as the government's responsibility to bring change, but the government should rather open up and invite people to participate into deciding the change which they want. Should it be uh, from the perspective of the teachers, teachers must come on the table during uh, any curriculum decision change. I don't think NIED is doing enough. Uh, we need to extend it to uh, uh, accommodating all the different setup of schools that we have in the rural areas, schools in the urban areas, those who, which are advantaged and those which are not privileged, bring them together and then they should dictate or decide their own solution. So by doing so, we can, we can say that the lack of um, the lack of vocational skills within the education system makes it to be an end in itself because technological skills they need to be passed through uh, a structured system called education but how much of the vocational skills incorporated and that are dealt with on a daily basis in our current curriculum uh, at the moment is only paper based not practical the impact of lockdown and government policies have seen a decline in the quality of education for learners in this country. I think we can all admit to it that uh, lockdown made us to, be, to feel helpless because there are things we were prepared to do but we couldn't do it because during lockdown you are not allowed to practice teaching and learning in the traditional way that we are taught. Now having to um, sort to the other uh, platforms like uh, remote learning, uh, most of the students were not uh, having the devices to be able to access that. Teachers, uh, some teachers uh, were trained uh, 30 years uh, back and they are not able to cope with the technological change that have been there. So now we had to deal with how do you bring in kids uh, in the perspective of uh, remote learning or online teaching uh, while the teacher lacks the skills. Or if the teacher is having the skills, how do I reach to the learner who is in a rural village whose um, uh, uh, village is not connected? So now it brings more frustration than uh, it having to bring any advantage to the teaching and learning. Of course, we are now taught uh, to go back face to face, but the question still remains, our, our an ample time to cover what is expected. Is the government prepared to cater for that? I do not think we are fully ready to be able to go fully on remote learning or we are having infrastructures that are big to accommodate more learners at the same time. The impact on the kids or how, what's different about them? Or I think for kids, kids, um, the system have been in place over centuries. It have become part of human life that going to school is a normal basic uh, thing like uh, uh, having to demand food to eat. So now kids would want to come and learn and they feel the age of wanting to go and learn. It's just that there are so many limitations where instead of them having to go full five days. They are now taught you are going to come to school two days, the other three days you must be at home because the other group must come in and all those things. So when learning have so many breaks uh, and there's no consistency, it makes it difficult for you to master certain skills. The quality of education in the country has seen somewhat of a decline since independence 
And I asked teacher Augustinus Ngombe to share his views on what should be done. In, in that regard, I think our future demands of us that we need to sit down and have a real conversation with ourselves and make sense of whatever decision that we are to make. Because COVID-19 have exposed to us that not even businesses can survive forever. And businesses are the places where we train we train people to go and serve in those industries and we have seen lots of them closing doors, universities closing doors. So if we have to find a new perspective, then we need to work on how to nurture talents and gifts in school than having to force kids to sit in the class, prepare them for things which they may not be able to utilize. You're talking about taxes. Uh, one, in one of the articles that I wrote uh, last of last year, 2019, I was questioning as to how can a teacher be able to be um, helpful to a child who is forced to sit in a physical science class or physics class while he's artistic. You know, we have kids who are military minded and they are forced to sit in the accounting classes. We are having kids who are sport experts, but they are taught if you cannot be able to get an A in English, then you are dumb. So we are having, we are having uh, learners who are frustrated in a system and we just prepare them for skills which will not make sense sometimes in their life. But we force them to do this because the system demands of us to do that. But now we need to change that narrative to say, if you are an artist, how do we best serve you in the education system? If you are a bricklayer and you are a sports person, how can we best uh, nurture these talents and gifts so that even if the teacher is not around you be curious to learn if if i'm a sports person i don't need a teacher to be there for as long as i have the basics i know i need to practice i need to have fitness so all these things need to be brought forth i know they exist in the curriculum but we need to bring them in the limelight where we practice them than just having lots of wishes The Namibia Statistics Agency is busy with census mapping, a preface for the main population and housing census to be conducted in 2021. Census mapping aims to demarcate the entire Namibia into uniquely defined units of remuneration areas to provide an accurate national geographic frame to conduct census. To find out more, tune in to Conversations with the NSA on Thursday afternoon, the 6th of May as from 1 p.m streamed on all social media pages of the NSA as well as One Africa TV and 99FM social media pages. Play your part. Be counted. There's no price like the ShopRite price, which means you'll get low prices on everything you need, like a pack of 105 Roses tea bags, only $39.99, and a 500-gram brick of Rama Original, just $18.99. The ShopRite price, the price you can trust always. Oh yes, it's May Day all the way. You've worked hard, and now it's time to play even harder with entertainment you'll absolutely love this month on Go TV. Paris Nail with a late. Nice adventures will happen. Magic isn't as unbelievable as you might think. And cheer up, every. Game For your favorite shows, stay connected to Go TV. Entertainment. Wow, well, you're right. Here. Go TV. Love it. The quality of education in the country has seen somewhat of a decline since independence. And I asked teacher Augustinus Ngombe to share his views on what should be done. At the beginning of a lockdown, uh, our school is is based in the informal settlement, and you can already tell that most of the parents are not privileged. So right at the beginning of the lockdown we had complaints from the learners that they didn't even have basic needs because some of them would sell after school sell during the weekend in order to assist their parents to meet the needs of the day but 
during the lockdown there were regulations which limited them to do that and it was very frustrating at the end of the day you have people who are supposed to be lo um, loving and caring towards each other but they end up in the house and they are helpless they don't know what to do so we had to reach out and we got uh, one of the assistants uh, of whose name I will not be able to bring forth for now but uh, he he bought food parcels and we identified those who were mostly affected about 20 of them to be able to be given these food parcels but food parcels that are given once are they sustainable i do not think so and uh, it persisting until now and we do not know when it will end it leave them in dark as to whether to make a decision to go to school or they should quit school and ensure that they are alive. Sure. Any last words? Um, the last words I, I have is um, we as people need to make a decision as to where we want to go. And crises are good, like COVID-19, because they expose our vulnerability. And they remind us that we need to um, to keep on uh, making decisions that will be relevant for a day because there's no one-size-fits-all decision. So Namibians and the whole world of Africans are also invited to decide as to are we going to sit and cry or we need to sit and then take radical decisions that will get, out of, get us out of these shackles. Thank you. A few weeks ago, I spoke to veteran artist and musician Papanda Sunye Shikongeni about the apparent lack of involvement in speaking out on corruption and our current condition by local artists. For artists, also for your thoughts, it's not that artists are not involved. It only depends on what medium of art. In myself, why I'm saying that I can testify. In my music, 2006, I've already seen about politics and the history of my country. Even 2015, even 2019, the three cities I have, it speaks about politics and corruptions in Namibia. So it depends how the, the generation or the new generation, which music they choose to listen to. So if they were listening to my music, all those things like the song that is called Shirime Kundotash Jekunde, it means those who are in the government will eat the money in the government. That's why I made that song. You understand? So there is also a song called So those eagles are even grapping, but at the same time, they, are, they, are, they don't want people to have it. So it is there. It's only how do we bring it as a platform, a cultural platform for artists to start talking about it. Either be to the, to the what you call it, comedians, even the to visual artists, it was due to musicians, to acting. So it is there, it's only that sometimes some of the artists, they lack resources. And when you get the resources, it's for those you fight against. So some artists don't want to fight against them and talk the truth because it's where the survival is. And there's the survival of the fittest. Yeah, so we are speaking about it. It's only that I'm happy that your One Africa have come to us about that question so that you can come to artists and express themselves because if other media could do that this country could realize that artists are doing it in in my art i've been doing it you see but this there are people now when it comes to our people when i talk about my people it's my black people when it comes to visual art our people don't understand visual art even if they come and look at mechanisms but it's also in visual art it's only that our people are also ignorant to understand the world of visual art also speaks even though it's silence it speaks when you come to an artist and ask what do you want to portray what is your message you'll come to realize that this art we've been looking